This is the video that goes with uh, 7.2, which looks at solutions, zeros, x-intercepts, and roots, and also factors as well. So identify each function that has an x-intercept and negative 2. When they're written as equations, it's not quite so easy to tell. So what you want to do for all these questions is just go straight to Desmos, type in the picture, and have a look to see exactly what's happening. Now, you've also got to be careful, because when you graph some of these, like, for instance, this has an x-intercept of 2, which is clearly no good. Uh, this one has a y-intercept of negative 2, so instead of negative 2, but we're talking about x-intercepts. So you just need to be very careful as you're typing these in. Remember, you can get the Desmos app on your phone, so if you want to practice these at home and drive typing them in, uh, you can do that. And I'll show you the correct answers on the next slide. Which of these functions have two different zeros? Well, I recognize zeros as that word again for x-intercepts. So along with roots and solutions, I know they all mean x-intercepts. So basically, I want to type in these questions. I want to see what's actually happening. So ones that have straight lines just pass through the x-axis just one time. The ones that have curves can pass through two times, but they could also pass through zero times, or they could just touch and just pass one time. So what I can do is I'm just going to type each of these questions in. Where it says y, I'm going to put y equals. Where it says f of x, I'm going to type f of x equals in. And I'm just going to look which ones actually look like this, where we have it crossed two times. And if you check question 10, you should have found these last two here, had an x-intercept and negative 2. And one that had two different zeros should have been this one, this one, and this one. The linear one only ever has one zero. This one didn't actually touch the axis at all, so it was zero. And this one just touched one time. And this was originally one of our warm-ups as well. So perhaps if you're in class, you actually saw these two questions and actually got to practice them. Polynomial function has zeros at negative 9, 5, write an equation that could represent the function. So I know if I know the zeros, the roots, the solutions, the x-intercepts, all those things, and I know I can work out the factors by doing the opposite. So instead of negative 9, I can do positive 9. Instead of positive 5, I know I can do negative 5. And technically that's your answer. You could go ahead and multiply this out by drawing one of those little grids x and 9, x and negative 5, x times x is x squared, x times 9 is 9x, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, and negative 5 times 9 is negative 45, so I got x squared, I can see I got minus 45 as well, and 9x add negative 5x, give me positive 4x, and you can get around the question that way, although technically that would be a perfectly good answer, it doesn't actually ask you to multiply. For 8 and 9, we've got three parts to this. So where it says graph the solution, I recognize solution as a word for x-intercepts. So I'm literally just going to plot the dots where it crosses through the x-axis only, not the y-axis. Identify the zeros. Zeros is the same thing. We just got to write down the numbers this time. So for this one, negative 1 and 3. For this one over here, negative 5 and 4. And you might be able to see this better on your sheet than Find the factors, so I know the factors is one where I have to do the opposite of what it says down here. So instead of negative 1, positive 1. Instead of positive 3, negative 3. Instead of negative 5, positive 5. And instead of positive 4, negative 4. So the root solution zeros and x-intercepts, you just write them down as the x-intercepts. And then for the factors, you've just got to know to do the opposites. And at the bottom where it says zeros, I guess technically that's where I was supposed to fill in that space. I just didn't notice that at the time. And it actually covers 7.2 on factors, roots, zeros, and solutions. But you will be tested with that on 7.1 at the same time.